Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about uh, contiguous and non-contiguous tensors. In this video, we will learn about uh, another very important uh, tensor method, which is known as a mask fill. Okay. So this is mainly useful uh, to create mini batch in uh, a training where we want to have a batch of examples of different lengths. But in training algorithm, we need to make them like equal uh, length and then we append these uh, uh, pads. And then in the training process, we want to have a mechanism where we want to uh, mask those extra pads in the actual computation. Okay, so we will learn those things in coming videos. But in this video, we will focus on like how we can create masks. Okay. So let us start with like creating a simple tensor. So let us say we want to create a tensor. Um, tensor is equal to torch dot tensor. So let us call this one. And let us simply uh, type a tensor of uh, um, three cross um, five. Let us say. So we will simply say one, two, three, four, five. And let us create another row. Let us say six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let us create another row. Is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. We can create uh, the sequence by uh, arrange method as well, but uh, uh, we want to make sure that everything is visible so that uh, you can understand it better. Okay. So. Um, let us create a full mask for this. So let us copy it as it is and let us call it mask. So let us say mask is equal to. So what we want is we want to mask some of the elements and uh, the masking works like uh, anything is true will be replaced with a specified value and everything is false will be ignored. Okay. So you know that uh, um, uh, anything is uh, zero is false other than that is a true. So if I will say, okay, I want to use, I want to mask this, this, and this, okay. So we can simply say one, 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 one. So let us run again and see if that works. So now you see like uh, other than this uh, third column, everything else is masked. Okay. And it is same like if I will say um, false, false, um, true, 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 false, true, true, true. It's the same thing. Okay. So here we are providing the full mask like it is equal to the uh, tensor that we want to apply. Also, we can simply use the um, Broadcasting. So, for example, if I want to uh, use just one row and then apply it on the whole tensor, that will work. Okay. So, because here you can see it is consistent. We want just uh, the the third column to be present. Other than that, everything should be masked. Okay. So we can do that. So let us uh, create another mask that will. Um, be a single row and that will be uh, broadcasted to the whole uh, tensor okay so let us say we have a tensor i'm uh, sorry mask is equal to so what we will do is instead of using all three we will simply use one okay now here we have just one row and it will be broadcasted to all three rows okay now, if we will apply, let us uh, comment this out and let us apply again this mask. Okay. So, here what we are saying, let us comment the mask as well. So, here what we are saying is like we have a row which is equal to the tensor's uh, row um, size and then we apply it to the tensor. It will mask like uh, it will broadcast the mask to apply on the whole tensor okay 
so it will result in the same way as we have seen here okay so let us run and see it so you see we got um exactly same results but we passed only one uh row as a input as a mask okay also we can uh do a uh, column broadcasting so here if we simply uh copy the whole thing and paste again so let us say we have so here let us say we want to have a uh, one for the first row and we want a uh, zero for the second row okay so in this case what will happen is it will broadcast this in this dimension okay we need to have three of them so let us say we have another one which is zero again so what will happen is it will broadcast this like one zero zero so it will preserve the um these two rows and it will simply mask the whole row the first one okay because we are saying mask is equal to, equal to zero and that's where it will be true okay so let us run and see it so you see it has masked this um two rows and preserved just the first row we have uh, run this that's why it is uh, showing us that 99 there as well so let us comment this out and let us run again now it will show us the correct result so you see it has uh, masked these two rows and preserved the first one and if you want to simply reverse it we can simply remove this condition and we will get it reversed now you see it has marked only the first row and preserved the remaining two rows okay i hope it should be clear now like uh, what is masking and uh, how it works in general uh, in this video we will stop here in the next video we will learn about uh, now a bit more complex methods are uh, a bit more complex concepts and we will start with uh, nn module of pytorch so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next